So uh, what we're doing here is, uh, so the f first 10 minutes you're going to be doing um, just relaxation, stress relief, just kind of get the mind ready. Mm -hmm. Then you're doing uh, 10 minutes of just doing all the chakras, mm -hmm. right? And then um, 10 minutes of these uh, source zones. So liberation of guilt and fear, undoing the situations of change, transformation of miracles, relationships, connections, awakening, intuition, return to source, all the good things unified right? field healing, and then source healing. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs>your girl abby aka new age coach here and i am lighting the way for those on their way to the light to my soul vibers that is those of you who are already subscribed thank you anyone new just tuning in welcome on this channel we talk all things self and soul development so if you like that vibe and want to join the tribe hit subscribe in that opening clip I showed you, you saw some technology and we talked about things like different frequency and tones having to do with different types of healing. And what you are looking at there is the Rasha. Now, I'm definitely not gonna do justice to explaining what this technology and science is. So what I wanna do first is actually hop into the video of the actual creator speaking directly about his credentials, his research, and the Rasha. Hello, I'm Dr. Jerry Rivera de Henio, PhD, the founder and inventor of the Rasha technology. I have a master's and PhD in natural medicine, specializing in quantum medicine, which is the uh, applying laws and rules of quantum physics with natural medicine. And I'm also a forever student, and I'm currently enrolled at Stanford University obtaining my genetics and genomics program certificate. So, what is the Rasha? Well, first let's start off by explaining what happened to me 20 years ago in September of 2000. I died. I died due to a massive heart attack and within that non-time space, I left my body, I was uploaded sort of like to the cloud or the unified uh, source consciousness field. And it was there where I came back with the information that led to the development of the Rasha technology. So the Rasha technology, what does Rasha mean? Rasha means dark matter body in the ancient Anohazi language, which is one of the three primary languages in this time matrix and it is the predecessor of the ancient Anasazi Native American Indian language. So Rasha means dark matter body. So why is the Rasha so different? Well, first of all, the Rasha is the only true scalar plasma technology that is available for the public masses. What I mean by that is much of the technology that I downloaded during my near-death experience actually has been utilized for over 50 years by the military and uh, let's just say industrial military complex. And the Rasha is able because of the true nature of the scalar plasma sound effect, we are able to actually talk to the cells, talk to the DNA, especially the diseased or mutated DNA, and we're simply able to give that mutated or, let's say, distorted DNA the correct healthy instructions. From there on, the human body heals itself. The Rasha was simply designed to communicate to our introns, or what I call potential DNA. Now, let's differentiate scalar energy versus regular energy. Most devices out there utilize electromagnetic energy. Electric meaning energy expansion or oscillation, magnetic energy contraction or holding. Now, both electric and magnetic energy are both founded, their foundation is scalar, which is information and energy energy and scale our energy is the language of our DNA so the Rasha is simply able to communicate 
to our body, to our cells, allowing our cells to take the correct healthy instructions and heal the body. So I hope I have your attention now after watching that video. Isn't that so interesting? And just a few weeks ago, myself, I had no idea technology like this even existed. Nonetheless, thought I would have an opportunity to actually experience it myself and take you all along on that journey with me. So the way this came into kind of my awareness is I was actually going to visit my sister who lives about 45 minutes from me to spend the day with her. And there's a, a healing center, a flotation center near where she lives. And I've introduced you guys to that float center in different videos. Um, I'll link my, my float uh, playlist so that you can check that out if you want to. But as I was on my way to visit my sister, an email popped up and it was for this Rasha technology that existed at the float center. And guess what? It was a 30 minute session for free. And at this time, you know, I was really working on um, affirmations around uh, wealth and abundance and prosperity, which is a given all the time, but really I was honed in on kind of that type of healing. And I give that context because one <laughs> piece of when you ask for something the universe provides is this example where a lesson of this this free session just fell into my lap, right? That's abundance, that's prosperity in itself, and that's healing, right? Prosperity isn't just money, it's self-healing. So I was very thankful that this came into my awareness. And they say when the student is ready, the teacher appears. And I really just wanna get the word out that technology like this, information like this, healing modalities like this exist, and I'm here to light the way, right? I wanna be able to share this information. So if you're intrigued that you can go research it on your own, check it out, see if there's something near you that's like this for you to try it. And to offer just another example, that day, um, my sister and I ended up <laughs> not only getting this free session, but we also got our lunch for free because the restaurant messed up the order somehow. And then furthermore, after we came out of the session, quite literally, and we're driving home, there was money floating in the air. Came out of thin air, we're driving on the highway and there's just cash flying by the window. And she's like, is that money? And I was like, is that money? Just out of thin air and we were on a really busy highway so we we're trying to pull off and there were like three cars also pulled off trying to get it. So we all flagged each other off, confirmed it was money and we let someone else go and grab it. But just this idea of how instantaneous healing like that can be. The point that I'm making is through that sound healing, it's very much like listening to binaural beats or Hertz music, right? That's what it sounded like. But when you have that healing and you elevate your consciousness and you elevate your own frequency and vibrational um, awareness, it puts you into that same frequency as abundance, as a magnet, right? To attract these types of situations. So I don't find it coincidental that this day was full of abundance and things popping up for free, you know, as a result of this session. So to take it back to Dr. Rivera DeGenio's video and explanation, um, I will link some more like layman terms kind of explanations because there's all these scientific words to it like autonomic you know, nervous system or ANS or morphogenic or just again, these idea of Newtonian physics and quantum healing, right? So it's, it's a lot to wrap your, your mind around. So I'll link some uh, layman terms videos where it's kind of like drawings and stuff that will really walk you through and give you a better understanding of what this is through your own research. But really what it is is kind of just this body, mind, spirit technology is the three in one and that's the healing part of it. And it's an energy device and it has apparently the most powerful kind of frequency generating software that's intended to protect and enhance and harmonize um, your, again, your nervous system, your cellular level, like down to your DNA. And it's supposed to relieve trauma, relieve stress, uh, cellular detoxification. It's supposed to purify us, um, especially from all just the environmental and geopathic stressors we face every day, electro smog, the pollution, 5G. Basically, there's, there's so many healing benefits to this that the list goes on, even in terms, there's links to autism and cancer. And again, the research will speak for itself so again I encourage you to check this out um, and with that I wanted to kind of you know it's one thing to on your journey to hear information and absorb information and do your own research and have a fundamental 
you know, scientific understanding or just, you know, knowledge understanding from an educational standpoint, right? But it's a completely no another thing to experience that for yourself. And the reason I'm saying it that way is because, like I said, it was so much for me to kind of understand this concept of all of the science behind this works, right? I mentioned all those words and you're like, what? So what does this actually do? I'm not sure, you know? So I went into this session with a certain intention. And when I sat, you walk in and you sit in a very comfortable chair and you kind of put these headphones on. You'll see all this in a minute when I walk you through that in a video so you can be part of that experience. But when I sat in that chair, I made a very specific intention going into my session. And I had asked, you know, please explain to me what this is actually doing in a way that I'm gonna understand that fundamentally from my soul's perspective, from what this actually does in a way that I can really have faith that this is actually fundamentally working on many levels. And again, this experience is gonna vary for every single person. It's based on where you are in your journey, your perspective, how open and receptive you are, right? So my experience was I set that intention going in and it was such a beautiful kind of spiritual experience for me that way. I mean, I definitely went so deep into a meditative state. Uh, again, it's just these sound frequencies that go through your ear. I mentioned it's a lot like binaural beats, the Hertz music, it's sound healing in essence. and it took me deep into a meditative state and there were so many different beautiful, spiritual, personal things that I experienced in that. Things that I can't really relate through a screen or through my words or story to you because that was my experience. But one thing I wanted to connect the dots for here um, that I thought was so beautiful is there have been situations in my spiritual journey over the last year and a half where when I'm in situations in nature, I, for example, remember being on a beach in Greece and this happened, or when I'm in nature and I'm grounding, right? My bare feet are on the grass or on earth, situations like that, or when I'm doing something I fundamentally love and it speaks to my soul, this happens to me. And what it is, is before, before the session I'm talking about, these just nature experiences and personal experiences, in my real eyes when they're open, there'd be almost like a film that would come down. And I, I can never quite see the shape of what it was, but it was like this little kind of patterns that would come down over the filters of my eyes in those situations and couldn't really focus on it. And I kind of panicked because I was like, uh oh, is this like a spiritual thing that's happening sometimes? Or do I need to go get my eyes checked? I'm not really sure. There's so many times that happens in my real life day to day. Is this spiritual? Is this medical? I don't know. <laughs> Trust your intuition. In hindsight, what I've realized is through this session, it showed me what was actually happening. So with my intention to show me, when I went into a meditative state for the Rasha, it felt all of a sudden, and I'll connect the dots about nature in a minute and what that filter was. Um, when I went into this meditative state, my eyes almost became like a microscope, like as if you were in eighth grade science class. And I don't remember if you remember putting like little specimens into these like plastic things that you had to cover to put under the microscope to see what they were. But that's kind of the visions I was getting. It was very like lab, it was very scientific. It was very like putting something under a microscope. And then what it was showing me was the shapes of what I interpreted to be DNA. And they were all floating, these patterns that were floating DNA that were broken. They were fragmented and just going through the lens of my eyes. And it brought me right back to those situations in my life where I would see that filter come over my eyes and those shapes and I couldn't tell what it was. And in this Rasha meditation kind of that was happening, it was showing those DNA pieces that were fragmented and filtered like through this scientific experiment. It was showing those basically coming together and regenerating. So really the illustration I got was exactly what this technology stands for, repairing that DNA at the core. So connecting it back to those nature experiences, I, I connected the, the fundamental dot for myself that when we do natural healing techniques for ourselves, being in the sunshine, vitamin D, for me, that's restoring something at a cellular level for me and healing something. When my feet are in the earth from the ions and scientific backing of earthing, there is healing going on in your body. So it's, it's again, no coincidence to me that my higher self in this meditative experience through the Rasha is showing me the power and truth behind self-healing just through various technologies. It doesn't have to be the Rasha. It could literally just be going outside. So without further ado, that was just one cool experience I wanted to leave you with and share my story, but let's hop into showing you what this actually just looks like uh, at the actual float center. So thank you so much for watching this video. 
If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, share it, definitely share it and get this word out. Go to Dr. Rivera uh, DeHenio's uh, YouTube page, which I'll link below, subscribe, support his work, and just continue to heal yourself in whatever way that looks like because it is possible. Thank you.